people assume, oh my goodness, I, I only consume um, supplements and, and I only eat things out of the earth. Good to eat fresh vegetables and fruits, yes. But when we're looking at things for medicinal purposes, how much is enough? How much is too much? In addition to that, we also have to consider the fact that supplements, they are not as carefully monitored and controlled as drugs. So when we buy a bottle of red pills, <laughs> how much of the red is in the red pills? Who's calculated that? Is that consistent from bottle to bottle? We don't know. The other thing is <laughs> some supplements provide some health um, benefits that some prescribed medication also does. So if we have this and this doing the same thing, do we have overload? We need to know that. Some supplements work against prescription medication. So if we are at a point where we have this and it's working against this prescribed medication and we don't know, it could be a problem. So sometimes supplements can give us more of what we think we're getting and create trouble. Sometimes supplements can prevent the prescribed medication from working effectively, which could also be a problem. And thirdly, that supplement can sometimes inhibit and prevent the prescribed medication from working. So we really have to drill down and ask our patients detailed questions because they make assumptions like they don't need to know about my supplements because they're not prescriptions. So I don't need to tell you it's not important, but it is.